Blessings, everybody. Welcome to our first class of September in 2023. We are in a wonderful time. Uh, I'll just reinstate that it actually is Leo season right now. It's not Virgo season. So Leo season means that we're actually in a lot of heat. We're in a lot of fiery and inspired action. Um, we're going to be driven to be more courageous about a lot of things um, that have been plaguing us, perhaps taking care of, of old wounds. And we're going to find new ways to really hold love and generosity. Now, I love that our class, I always love when our class aligns perfectly to something. And today we are at the end of Venus retrograde, meaning that she has come direct, she has stationed direct. And let's remember that when a planet stations direct, it is said that they're the most potent. When they go into retrograde, they're the most potent. And when they come out of retrograde, they're most potent. And then sometimes they have certain different star alignments um, with our sun that'll make them really strong. But Venus had a long six week journey with us. Plus she, remember she was pre retro uh, retrograde phase for a month and now she'll be post retrograde phase for a month. So really we're talking about almost like a three month span of being very much entrenched in Venusian uh, frequencies. Now, in addition to that, what's interesting because I my brain was not tuned into this. I thought we already went through Jupiter retrograde, but Jupiter retrograde starts today. And so we have the energy of Zeus, Jupiter, showing us what we're going to expand. Now, if you're in a period of worry, and you can be because Mercury is also in his retrograde doing some, some different things in our mind that expansion can be amplified. Your worry can be amplified. So when we're in Jupiter's retrograde in the beginning, in this first week of it, we want to be very conscious of what we're focusing on. And then instead of, uh, you know, worrying about things, um, even being in a lower vibration, however it is for you, we want to do everything we can to maintain our vibration so that we can get into this retrograde feeling quite smooth. Um, when we go back to that part of Venus, Venus has been showing us a lot about our finances for the last two months, really, but six weeks um, potently. So how are you spending your money? Are you happy with how you spent your money? Are there things that you know where you're bleeding out? Um, are there ways that you can be more accountable with your spending? And uh, really changes that you can make that will support you and your dreams going forward. Now, personally, for me, I have actually had some great accountability. Um, I started paying off a very massive debt that I, well, you know, it's not that massive, but it's a, it's a big debt. And uh, I started paying that off and that feels incredible to do so. And I feel like things seem smaller. Like if someone says you have to pay a thousand dollars for this, and I need it by this day, I feel like it's so much easier to grasp. So I'm, I'm grateful for the lessons that Venus has given me. Um, and I continue to work with the Tars and the Angels of Atlantis to really help me in my mindset. Um, now, the other part of Venus, of course, is how much have you shown yourself love over these last uh, six weeks? Have you been in a go, go, go mode? Have you been in a place where you haven't gave back to yourself? Are there things that you've let slip by the wayside because you've been too busy on whatever it is that you're focused on? Self-care, um, you know, hanging out with people that bring joy to you, whatever makes your heart feel good. How has that been when you review it? And then lastly, acknowledging that since we're coming to an end with it, whatever has been brought up for you throughout June, July, and August, you have about one more month to resolve it in terms of family relationships, relationships with exes, uh, friends, partners. And these are the gifts of Venus. So I know the people in my class that take it regularly, we know this is medicine. Um, we know that it's meant for our, our higher good, but there's just a lot of mixing in there. So today's meditation is gonna focus both on the medicine of Venus and what she's brought us mixed with the medicine of Jupiter and what he's about to deliver to us. Now I want to say his retrograde goes until sometime in January. I could be off, but it, it's somewhere around there. So like I said, he's going to be really strong right now. And then it's going to kind of fade away from our consciousness and then really strong when he comes back out. But remember what Jupiter is about. He's about 
joy and jubilance and being the master teacher and expansion and prosperity and abundance and good fortune. And so it's very possible that he will smile on you this week. And then as you continue to do things that expand your consciousness into uh, prosperity and abundance, when he comes back direct, he will also gift you something for that period of you putting the work in. As the guru and the master teacher, Jupiter can really help you find the truth of a situation and help you sit in stillness so that your mind quiets, but at the same time, it expands out in greater and greater ways. So today would be a good day for us to set an intention about something you really want to know more about as we go forward. Okay. So as always, thank you for being here with me, whether you are live on the replay. Uh, many, many blessings. Let's take some breaths in. Let's acknowledge that everything we've just come through, in particular over the last six weeks, is meant to help us grow in accordance with our divine will. So feeling the beauty of your soul, slowing down the thoughts, maybe even seeing if you could slow down your heartbeat a little bit. Connecting to that beautiful light within you Feeling that light strength. Sometimes the light may have dimmed with different challenges or pain or trauma, but it never, it never has gone out ever since the day you were born as a child of creator, your light has shone brightly. So just feeling yourself knowing that everything is going to be okay as long as you continue to follow your guidance and hold true to the path that is meant for you. Very similar to last week's meditation, what I see is that Aphrodite slash Venus slash Hathor wants to be by your side immediately. And she wants to bring us into the season that we're in early fall, just that bridge between summer and fall where the nights get cooler, the sun doesn't stay out as long, the leaves are starting to turn or fall, and the air is getting a little bit more crisp. And as she walks beside you, she says through a rose gold path in a beautiful forest, prairie or mountain or seawall. She's like, be more tender, be more gentle with yourself. She wants to hold your hand as a way of sisterly love, of real support. And she's actually asking that most of us release tension from the heart, from the chest, especially. They're just um, from the front, front of the chest to the back, of it, there's like just this in general tightness or almost a square. So it's taking some deeper breaths, being aware that you don't have to screen and protect yourself today in this moment. You can be really free and allowing that beautiful rose kind of energy to flow through you a rose gold ray, a light, feeling. And then she wants to take that same energy and apply it to our lower chakras. The lower chakras, which will stimulate our creativity, our passion, our drive into action. our abundance so why she wants to take you in the path is she just wants you to observe how the changes in nature reflect the changes in you when you started summer in late june 
you were a different version of yourself than you are now. There are a lot of ways that you've grown through your relationships, through speaking your truth, through standing your ground, for doing so in a very loving and compassionate capacity. And there are things she said you recognize about money, wealth, and abundance that you didn't have full awareness before. And really, she says it's all about consciousness. Money itself doesn't change. What it represents doesn't change, which is energy. What changes is how we approach it and think about it. And so she's saying to notice as you look at different trees, what color the leaves are changing and for you to reflect on the ways you are changing, how your colors perhaps would have changed in some degree, your auric field, the wave patterns that come out of your, your brain, your heart wave patterns. The change is because we are dynamic. Humans cannot remain static for very long at all. And so now she's actually laughing a little bit that we take ourselves so seriously. Imagine, imagine what it's like when your soul leaves your body for the final time in this incarnation. And as you look back and you see how beautiful the universe is and what a gift it was to have been on earth during this incredible time of transformation, she said, you will laugh at yourself for allowing such small things to worry you, to stress you, to create strife or drama. And so she goes back, the biggest thing you can do is have the full picture, but also be lighter. Don't see things as challenges or blocks or why that happened to me or what's wrong see it as a gift and a blessing and she said literally here she's like put on these rose colored glasses once in a while there's nothing wrong with seeing everything through the lens of love through creator's eyes does creator look at Gaia and say this is imperfect or does he look at her and say this is one of the most beautiful things I've ever created and then notice that they say the same thing about you. You are one of the most beautiful things that creator has ever created. There's a deep unconditional love there. For those of us that feel the need to surrender, find a place upon this path where you can be cradled by Gaia, whether it be the sand, the moss, the soil, the grass. Just see yourself laying down. Then we're going to take a deep breath in through the front of the whole body, front body. And relax every single muscle and thought as much as you can in the back body. You know my favorite goddess to call in for surrendering is Green Tara. So nine times I'm just going to recite that beautiful mantra. And we can surrender our fears, our anxiety, anything held within our muscle that's not serving us. Um tare tu tare tu re soha. 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 Breathing in. Releasing out. As you reflect on the conversations you've had in your various relationships, we bring in some healing for anything that feels a little stingy for us uh, still or maybe left unsaid or un 
I'm healed. Ho'o'onoponopono, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Breathing in. Casting a wider net, net this time with your words. Ho'o'onoponopono, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. One more time. Oh, oh no, pono pono. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Whatever has been brought up for you during Venus retrograde, we say thank you. Thank you for the opportunity of greater awareness of this opportunity to grow, to heal, to forgive, to love, to reclaim our God-given abundance that is our birthright. Now I want you to reflect on beautiful things that you loved about this Venus retrograde, no matter how hard it was. Can you pick one to three things that you're really happy about? That you saw growth, success. And I want you to hold those one to three things in your mind and in your heart. And now we call upon Jupiter. Dear Jupiter, Zeus, King of Atlantis, God of Mount Olympia, we call upon you now to bless us with good fortune and expand these things that we know were made for us, that Venus showed us that we are worthy of and that we are ready to receive. And Zeus will take his white lightning power and he's not only going to ground it into you, those things that you're grateful for, but he's going to spread them out like the lightning becomes a tree with ancient, ancient, ancient roots. And so that you can never not be rooted into these beautiful gifts once again. So just taking some breaths and focusing on your breath. As a white lightning comes in, it doesn't have to come in as a huge strike. It can if you want. It could also just come in in a very slow way, almost like it's butter melting on the pan and that expands. Whatever you need, direct it with your breath. If you want it to be sharp, take it a deep breath in and then shoot it out. If you want to be gentle, then see how long you can sustain the breath for. And again, just allow yourself to receive. Thank you, Zeus, for expanding this good fortune within each of us on this live call in the replay.
because Zeus also reminds us that anytime, anytime he's in your consciousness to allow for more laughter. And so he wants you to think of your very favorite joke or your very favorite story. Something that brings a smile to you every single time. And then he wants to take that, that moment and spread it throughout this, this retrograde season for you. Like he's sprinkling that joy into every day, into every moment. So there's something for you to look forward to every day when you wake up. Because for you, for me, for all of us, life just gets better and better and better each moment we spend on this earth. While others may see all the chaos and be weighed down by it, we instead ascend more and more into our light bodies into that new frequency in the different densities of the golden age. And we feel supported by our guides, by our ancient self, by God, Sophia and their angels, by our ancestors, by our angelic team, our spiritual team. And now just picture yourself going through that one step at a time. You know who you are, you know what you're here to do, and the universe is supporting you. Now, Zeus, I call upon you in one more moment for those of us that are holding tight onto our dreams, Poseidon slash Neptune, I call upon you to now enhance our dream in even greater and deeper detail. And I ask you, Jupiter, Zeus, to expand this dream into our consciousness, into our spoken word, into our hearts, into our lower chakras, into our feet, into what we hear, see, think, speak, do, love, create, so that our dreams come to us that much quicker. And for each of us, whatever our biggest dream is, see yourself holding the key and opening the door to it. being in those energies, knowing that you deserve all of this. I'm going to call upon Saturn, Kronos, as I missed him last week, to help us manipulate time so that our dreams do come true as quickly as possible. That is in accordance with our divine timing and the perfect opportunity in people with us to make it a go. Allowing yourself the frequency of all these blessings to come in. If there's any guide in particular you feel like receiving a message from, an empowerment from, or an activation. Allow yourself to do that now. I do feel Archangel Raphael coming in just for a little bit more healing, especially in our back bodies, anything to do with our spine, our nervous system. I'm going to finish right away. I also hear Archangel Shamuel come in. Now, Shamuel is not one I work with very much. So just tuning in to the energy 
of this beautiful archangel. What message or guidance does this angel have for you? An archangel of the pink flame, working very well with Venus energies. Comfort and compassion. It is time to release any sorrow from your heart and come towards a more open-hearted and balanced relationship within self. Feeling rays of green and deep pink all around you. We ask Shamuel to help us open our heart chakra and relinquish any misunderstandings, hurts, or rejections, dissolving even the most stubborn lower emotions, and now infusing all of our relationships with perfect, unconditional love. Imagining yourself with incredible pair of pink wings behind you, attached to you, and then feeling them hug you with the most beautiful and pure love, just like when Yeshua does, or Mother Mary. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank all guides, all planets, our Holy Spirit, Creator, Gaia, the Archangels, for these beautiful reminders and healing. And as we begin to come back, they do ask that you see yourself cleansing in the most beautiful and sacred body of water you can imagine. Pure Venusian energies. It's just like a dive in, beautiful swim. And as you emerge out of the water, you come forth in one of your most beautiful forms and sacred forms. And they say, we got this. You're ready. September can be as beautiful as you allow it to be. And so it is, amen. Grounding us back into our space. Rama, 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 Kriya, Raku. Thank you for everybody. Live class and on the replay. As always, feel free to review this uh, as many times as you need in a bath, preferably next time. And sending lots of love, feel free to share any impressions with me for those on the replay, either in our online group or, um, or personally. Many blessings. <laughs>